Hello everyone, how are you today? So this is a recorded video, this is not the live stream. So and this is the 16th of April and this is on Friday. So happy Friday everyone and welcome to my another video session today. Let me just say hi to everyone on this larger picture. Good to see you. So uh, yeah, so today I would like to talk about the range in market because I talk about the range in market and what to do in a couple of other videos but this time I have three answers to it what to do in the range market I have three answers that came up on mind so that's what I will talk about and I have a little slide so uh, you can uh, enjoy this video session today. So before starting here, just a quick disclaimer. This information is based on my own understanding, experience, knowledge. So when you take trades, please do with your own risk management. So let's say, um, let me talk about the pound JPY because it's been trending in lower time frame. But first of all, if you see this daily chart in pound JPY for today, as of uh, 16th of April, you can see that this is ranging as per Ichimoku confirmations because we have the Kumo Senko Span B flat, A flat, and uh, Kijun Sen flat, Tenkan Sen sloping down. So Tenkan Sen shows the short term market momentum, and in, in short term it's bearish, but in the mid to long term it's flat ranging. And also Chiko Span broke the candles, but this is still sideways. So this is also the range market confirmation. So as per Ichimoku, Kinko Hyo, it's ranging because of these confirmations. And also price action too. Price in price action, the market stopped uptrend uh, on this 18th of March. And then we went, we went backwards. It went downtrend until the 24th of March. And then it went another uptrend. Market went up all the way until the 6th of April. And from here, the market going down this way. And the price is not really breaking the previous support level, which is at the uh, 148.50. If it breaks, then uh, price action can become downtrend. You can expect the next reversing wave like this, but the market is still not really reaching to that level yet. And this is still in between Kumo Kijun Sen and Chikol span is still too close to the candles, so this is ranging definition. So in this case, for today's topic, question is what to do. Um, if you can think about what to do in your head a little bit, then uh, that's good. You can just pause the video and think about at least like a two, two ways to deal with it. Um, I, I, I think uh, there are multiple answers to this. I have three answers for this video, but please take time to think about in your head what to do in a ranging market like this. Okay, so let me show you what I think to do in this kind of ranging market. So first of all, this is in a daily chart. It's in a daily chart. So in a daily chart, it's ranging. So first thing I do is I have a little slide here. So first, I check other pairs or other markets and look for other one if other one is trending or not in a daily chart. So that's what, what I do first. Second one, I check lower time frame and see if you find a trend in lower time frame. And third one, third option is do nothing, simply no trade when it's ranging. So let me cover one by one here this time. So the first one, check out other pairs or other markets. So let's say pound JPY is ranging on the daily chart. So in the same time frame daily chart, I check other pairs. So let me scan screen from top Euro USD. Uh, it's ranging flat. Euro AUD in the daily chart is also flat. Euro pound it's flat in the Kumo. Euro JPY flat Kijun Sen Kumo. Euro CAD this is also flat. Euro Swiss franc is also flat ranging. It's been up and downwards. Dollar JPY, this is also flat ranging, Chikol span touching. Uh, Dollar Swiss friend is also retracing backwards and ranging in a daily time frame. 
uh, USDC it is ranging. Pound USD is also ranging too. Kumo flat, Kijun Sen flat. Speaking, skipping the pound JPY, the pound AUD, it also, this is flat still. The Kumo is not really twisted yet. The Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen pointing downwards, but this is above the Kumo still. So this is ranging still. So the price could retrace backwards, could be supported at the previous support level. I would, I would call this support zone. It might retrace backwards. So I would say that this is not really good timing to place a sell yet. So that's ranging. On the daily chart, pound CAD is also ranging. Um, yeah, this is, yeah, sorry, this is downtrending, sorry. This is downtrending, the Kumo, single span B flat, but single span A is down and Kijun Sen down. And Chikou span is below the candles, so this is downtrending. So this one, I will just mark for today. Uh, the daily chart is downtrending. So if I find the pound JPY to be flat ranging in the daily chart, then in the same time frame daily chart, I find pound, pound cat is downtrending. So I will more focus, I, I will take more time to this particular pair to look for the sell chance than other ones. So let's see, pound CAD and the daily chart is down. And let's see, in one hour chart, it, this is uh, more of the flat side. Kumo Kijun Sen flat. So it might retrace backwards. So at, at the breakout of the previous support, 1.7175, then I will start to look for the sell chance afterwards. So this is on my watch list, pound CAD for today. And also, um, let's check some other markets. Pound Swiss franc is now ranging. The price is into the Kumo, it's ranging. Price landed the end of the focus line within the Kumo, between the focus lines. So this is ranging also. The sign on the range. And AUD USD is also ranging. Retracing backwards in the daily chart, it's ranging. And uh, AUDC AD is also retracing backwards ranging. Um, AUD JPY is also ranging too. AUD CH is ranging. CAT JPY is also retracing backwards ranging. The price is below the Kijun Sen. Although Kijun Sen up, single span A is up at the moment. This can be fake. These angles can be fake because the price is below the Kijun Sen and the Chikou span touching. So this is, to me, ranging still. This is not a strong and stable Buddhist trend in the daily chart. So I will skip this one too. And Swiss franc JPY is also ranging. And CAD Swiss franc is also ranging, retracing. So among all these pairs, I only find a pound CAD is downtrending per daily chart. So today, I will focus more on this pair than other ones and look for the sell chance. So when you when you happen to see one of these time frames, one of these pairs to be ranging, then this is the first one you can do. You can screen other pairs or other markets and see if you can find any other trending markets on the same time frame. If you take the daily chart, then look for other daily chart trending pairs. If you take forward chart, then look for other markets in forward chart. If you are the weekly time frame trader, then look for other weekly charts to be trending or not. That's important. You don't want to switch the time frames so that you can always have the same time frame and look at other pairs or markets. So let's say, let me check the gold and I take the same time frame daily chart in gold, this is now back into the range, the price is into the Kumo here, so this is ranging in the daily chart. The Kumo retracing backwards, single span um, B is going down, single span A retracing backwards, so this is a sign of the range in the long term. Price is into the Kumo, so this is ranging. Especially in this gold right now, the price is into the Kumo, where the Kumo is very thick on this over here. So I expect the market is going to take time for the breakout of the Kumo. 
I don't think the market will straight go up and break the Kumo. This is unlikely in this condition because the Kumo thickness, although we have this uh, Tenkan Kijun Gold Cross and Chikosman breakout, the Kumo breakout it may take time, so it might become into the range like this going up and down for a couple more days or weeks and then break the Kijun Sen, uh, sorry, break this uh, Senkospan B like uh, somewhere here, is my expectation. So in that sense, daily chart is ranging in gold. So uh, you might want to take other commodities, maybe uh, let's see, silver is also ranging, retracing backwards, Chikospan overlapping, it's not really trending anymore. And platinum is also ranging too, this is in P wave and ranging, so this is not really a good one either. So yeah, right now looks like in the daily chart basis, as per Ichimoku analysis, I only find the pound CAD to be downtrending. So that's one thing that you can do. So once again, if you find one of the pairs to be trending, or ranging, then look for other pairs that are trending or other markets that are trending. That's the first one you can do. So the second one, second point is check lower time frame in the same pair or same market, check lower time frame and see if you have find a trend or not. So let's see. Let me come back to pound JPY as example for today. So once again, pound JPY daily chart is down trending. Uh, sorry, daily chart is flat ranging. Kumo flat, Kijun Sen flat. And if you look at the forward chart, then you can find that this is downtrending. Looks like the market is about to break the support level. And now we have the Kumo Senkospan B down, A down, and Kijun Sen Tenkan Sen pointing downwards, and Chikospan is below the candles. So in this condition, I expect the market go down on the bearish in the wave, like this way. So in the same market, same Forex pair, if you lower the time frame, then you might see the downtrend or uptrend. In this case, downtrending. So once again, the daily chart is flat at the moment, but in 4, this is downtrending. So that means you can follow the forward chart downtrend. Let me split the screen into two. If you're not familiar with the multiple time frames, this is really effective. So uh, you can try this one. You can have on, on one side, you can have this uh, daily chart, and on the other side, you can have this uh, forward chart. And you just compare which one is trending more. And clearly in this case, in this example, you find the forward chart to be more stable downtrend than the daily chart. Because in forward chart, the, after the Kumo twist, it's becoming longer and thicker. And now exactly the angle of the Senko Span B is down, A is down, and Kijun Sen Tenkan Sen also down. And Chiko Span is technically below the candles, so this is bearish market. This is bearish. So, and also in terms of the forward chart pattern to Kijun Sen, the market was resisted by the Kijun Sen once and twice, three times here. So, there is a good chance that the market retrace backwards, but resisted by the Kijun Sen and continues to go down this way. Right, you can read this in forward chart, but in the daily chart, you cannot read anything because this is simply ranging. So the price could go up and down and we don't know which way it's going. However, in forward chart, if the market continues to go down in forward chart, then eventually that will make the daily chart candlestick to break the Kumo downwards. And in this condition also, the Kumo is very thick over here. So for the market to be able to break the Kumo, it's gonna take longer. It may take days or weeks for that to happen. But if there is a daily chart breakout in the daily chart, then um, Kumo will twist bearish 
and Chikou span comes all the way below the candles, Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen will dead cross, and then we have the Kumo breakout. Afterwards, the price, the market can trending downwards in the daily chart basis. So we can see the potential downtrend, the beginning of the downtrend in flower chart. So that's so basically this is another thing that you can do. And this is basically what I do. So if I find the daily chart to be ranging, then I look at the lower time frame, in this case flower chart, and see if this is also trending down or not. So let's see, um, another good one would be, uh, let me just pick up some other charts. Okay, Pound AUD is also a nice example. So this is the Pound AUD. On the left is the daily chart, on the right is the flower chart. And which one is trending as per Ichimoku confirmation is pretty obviously the flower chart. In a daily chart it's ranging, it kind of just broke the Kumo downwards, but the Kumo itself is not twisted yet, and the Kijun Sen is still above the Kumo. So this might become fake, it might be supported at the previous low level. At this uh, previous low level, it might be supported and goes backwards. At this uh, 1.7686 level, it might bounce. But in forward chart, that can be target. It can go down to the uh, to this level, 1.7686 level. And there's a room to the previous support level in forward chart. In this case, uh, 70 pips. 70 pips of room we have in forward chart. So this is good room to take trade. Even if the market retraces backwards, you can probably fix the pips, maybe 20 pips or 30 pips with ideal confirmations. So in this case, you can follow the downtrending in forward chart, but you cannot follow anything on the daily chart because on the daily chart, it's ranging at the moment. So by lowering the time frame, you might see the trending market. But if you find the lower time frames are also ranging, then obviously no trades. Or you can also look at other pairs in lower time frames and see if you find any trending trending pairs or markets. So that's the second thing you can do. If you have time still and if you have if you're willing to take trades, then uh, that's the second option. But let's say if you find a ranging market in the daily chart and if you find a forward chart to be ranging, then you can do nothing. Basically, you stay away from the market. And what I mean by staying away from the market means that you can still do something, right? You can still do a few things. For example, you can read books that you are not still able to read. You can still read books. And also, uh, you can watch videos you can enjoy my video archive, or you can watch others' videos and um, motivate yourself and educate yourself. This is also important to take time when it's ranging market like this. And also, you can backtest. You can use the Frex tester. There is a new Frex tester 5 that just launched. So um, you can backtest your own strategy, and um, you can refine and fine tune your own strategy. So that's something that you can do in the ranging market. Or you can look back your past trades. This is very important. Um, and this is why I recommend everybody, especially the GTS members, to track their records by their own. Not by the system, but by their own, by the spreadsheet. Um, it's recommended to, uh, to track the records so that you can study from the past trades. So, you can sometimes look back the past trades, you can focus on the, for example, uh, winning trades and see how you won in the past. Or you can focus on the losing trades and you can, you can uh, you know, think ahead 
how to overcome, how to avoid these losses. You can how to you can think about how to how to have the you know better uh, uh, better risk reward ratio, or you can uh, backtest on the uh, on the how to minimize the loss or how to extend the profit more. You can study this by looking back your own past trades. Um, even if I show you my own trade history, you cannot learn. You can you can learn, of course, based on where I took a buy, where I took a sell, stop loss, and exit timings. You can still learn, but these are not your trades, so you don't have responsibility on your trades. If if you just see mine, you don't have any responsibility. But if you look back your own past trades, then these are the ones that you did. So you take responsibility and you learn more that way because you cannot lie yourself. So this is also you can do when it's ranging market. And also, of course, you can have a good rest. Take a good rest. Just stay away from the chart. Just shut down the PC, shut down these uh, char charting softwares and just take a good rest. Drink a drink nice tea or, a, you know, drink a have a have a nice meal with the family. You can take time for these too. And that's basically what I do also. When the market is ranging, then I take time to communicate with my friends and family and uh, I just take a rest. I watch a movie or um, yeah, Be before COVID, I used to go out when the market was ranging. So this is also discipline. Sorry, the, uh, the letters were hiding like this. Yeah, so take a good rest is another one that you can do. So you have many options to do when it's ranging market. So no rush. The market is there 24 hours and it doesn't go anywhere. The market is open every day and you can always find some trading edges and trade chances every week at least. But when you see that was my first impression, but uh, when I'm still newbie, when I see all these markets to be ranging, then I would still take trades on these small, small like pips here. Like um, I was, like a scalping, for example, this is downtrending, okay, daily chart downtrending, so mm, let's take a sell. I was thinking like that. And I took a sell, and the market went backwards, and oh, I just cut loss. I was doing like this for the first two years and that's why I was losing in the year of 2013-14. So, but now my mindset is totally different and when it's ranging almost all the pairs like this, then simply I stay away. Or um, I just screen charts three to five times a day. I only take two minutes um, on each time when, when I screen these pairs. And if I find all the pairs, almost all the pairs to be ranging, then simply stay away. And then I just come back to your chart maybe tonight or maybe tomorrow. Or maybe next week I will come back until the next decent trend happens. But one thing for sure, and one thing for sure in my experience is that there are trends every week. There are trends every month for sure on these Forex major pairs. And that's basically what I'm waiting for. And when it happens, I become active. So for the recent two weeks, I've been inactive and taking trades because of these reasons. But once again, I don't rush because I know that next trend will come. And the market is open always. So you can always wait for the next chance to come. So that's the mindset that I have when it's ranging market and that was a topic for today's video. I hope you liked today's video and if you have your own way to deal with the ranging market then uh, please comment below. Please comment on the below section on the below comment box and please share with me how you deal with the ranging market and I will de read these comments and uh, give you some feedbacks also. So uh, yeah, once again, thank you for watching the video until the end. If you liked it, please press the good button. And if you don't want to miss out 
on my future videos and lives, please subscribe and click the bell button so that you get notified in my future videos and lives. So once again, thank you for watching until the end and have a great, great Friday and great weekend. And until I see you next time, please stay healthy and stay gold. All right, matane. I say matane and that means see you in Japanese. So matane everyone. Thank you.